in the fourth and the fifth basic differentiation rules we have the sum and difference rule okay so if we have f of x and g of x be differentiable functions then the derivative of f of x either plus or minus g of x is equal to the derivative of f of x plus or minus the derivative of g of x so if you try to observe okay so the sum and difference of the sum or difference of f of x and g of x its derivative is just the derivative of each function okay so we can actually separate okay so to prove this uh, let let's have another function be, be equivalent to f of x and g of x so i'll be proving the addition the sum rule so we have the definition the limit definition of the derivative so we have t of x plus h and minus t of x and then we substitute the x plus h to our function so take note that t of x plus h is f of x plus g of x that's why we have f of x plus h plus g of x plus h here and of course we have the t of x which is f of x plus g of, g of x then we simplify we take out the grouping symbol so we have minus f of x and g of x here okay and then we rearrange okay so we group all function representing f and all function function <coughs> representing g so next is we can actually separate because uh, uh, it is allowed to separate this one we can have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h plus g of x plus h minus g of x all over h and then according to our limit loss it's just equal to this so we can get the limit of each okay each term and of course this is the definition of the derivative according to its function so we have f of x the derivative of f of x and the derivative of g of x okay so this is the derivative of f of x while this is the derivative of g of x okay so the proof of the difference rule also follows the same process okay so you can actually prove it on your own for the minus okay or the difference so let's have some example so for example if we have this function here so we have 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 and we're asked to find the derivative okay so we have this derivative here this is just equal to the derivative of each term okay so applying the sum and difference rule so we get the derivative of this first term second term third term and the fourth term okay so these are all the terms here and we can apply the constant multiple rule first so we take out the constant or the coefficient rather and then of course the derivative of a constant one is a constant is zero okay and we can simplify further the derivative of x cubed again we can use power rule so we have 3x then subtract 1 to the exponents we have x squared while in the second term we have 2x and of course the derivative of x is just 1 so that's why we have this 2 times 3x squared plus 3 times 2x minus 2 times 1 plus 0 and if we simplify further we have this we have 6x squared plus 6x minus 2 okay so that's how you use sum or difference rule so this is actually very useful in getting the derivatives of polynomials or if we have a function with many terms okay so you can use the sum difference 